Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we are going to be making Greg from Ballistic Barbecue, the YouTube channel Ballistic Barbecue. He has an absolutely amazing recipe so good. for red chimchurri. <laughs> Okay, so the backstory to this red chimchurri recipe. A couple months back, we attended a barbecue event where we met Jeremy Yoder of Mad Scientist Barbecue. We put out a video on that. I'll link it above. I'm gonna put a little clip in here of him talking about this red chimchurri. Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. Yeah. Is his red chimchurri sauce really the best chimchurri Dude, sauce? Dude, it's so good. <laughs> like, I had it and I was like having dreams about it after I came back from Miami. And I told my wife, I was like, look, I gotta make this red chimichurri. And she was yeah. mad that I went to the grocery store. It's like, why'd you get all this stuff? I was like, I have to make this chimichurri. Yeah. I make it. She tastes it. She's like, okay, now I have to make it. Better. Now I have to make it. it okay. Dude, it's so good. All right. It's so good. That's awesome. So then, Jeremy on his channel, Mad Scientist Barbecue, he put out a flank steak video making Greg's recipe for chimichurri. And Jeremy swears by it. His video came out. We talked to him about it like you just saw. So then we made it at home. <laughs> and fell over when we had Holy it. moly, it's good. We ate on it for like days. Days. It we made put it on your eggs. Like we put it on everything, every which way we could make it and eat it, we did. I don't want to over talk this chimchurri, so I'll shut up now. We're going to get to the ingredients. It makes about eight servings. It's a lot of ingredients, but it's fairly easy to make. Yeah. And we just wanted to share it with you. Thank you, Greg, for coming up with this because this is epic. It's so good. All you right, guys babe. have to make it. And here we, we go. go. Okay, so it's a lot of ingredients, but it's not a lot of work. It's really actually simple. So first we're gonna use our TD's Brew and Barbecue Carne Sutra. That's what we're gonna season our steak with to do our pan steak. And then let me read you the ingredients for this red chimchurri. Okay, I'm gonna read off of my phone because this is his recipe. So this is for eight servings. We have four cloves of garlic, one shallot, one or two small hot chilies. We're using one. One cup of roasted red bell pepper, which turns out to be two bell peppers. One half cup of red wine vinegar. A half cup of fresh lemon juice. One cup of chopped parsley, lightly packed. One cup of olive oil. And then our seasonings are going to be a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. I used regular paprika because I'm not a fan of smoked paprika a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and then salt and pepper to taste. Okay, you're gonna die. It's so incredible. All right, babe, let's Are do it. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so while Babe is chopping stuff and getting all prepared, I wanna talk about, this is just a bone-in New York, one pound. If you guys have not tried this stuff yet, the TD's Carne Sutra, it is like salt, pepper, garlic on crack. It's so good and it really makes for an epic steak seasoning. So I'm just gonna pat that in real fast. We're gonna just cook this off real fast in a hot cast iron with a little butter and a little oil. It'll really complement the red chimchurri. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting my garlic and my shallot into, and I'm gonna put my parsley into my little ninja foodie chopper. This is my favorite, link below. I use it for everything. The shallot's getting to me a little bit. <laughs> do you need sunglasses, babe? I think I do. So anyways, so the directions are that we have to mix vinegar with the minced garlic, the shallot, the hot pepper, and the roasted red pepper, and let it sit for 10 minutes or so to mellow out. After we do that, we mix all the remaining ingredients, which is the olive oil, um, all the spices and all of that. Then we'll mix that in, and then you're supposed to let it sit, but we're going to go ahead and just fast forward through that. So the key to this whole thing, too is fire roasting your red bell peppers. Now we have a gas stove, so I'm able to do it over my stove. Otherwise, you can do it on your barbecue, you can really throw it in a cast iron, but thank goodness for gas stoves. I don't know how the electric stove people do it. <laughs> I don't either. I don't get it. Anyway, so we're gonna do that, and then we have to peel that little roasted part off. I'll chop that up. Let's get this thing going. I took the head and the tail off of my... The head and the tail? Yeah, off my red pepper. <laughs> I'm shoving all of it in here. Your little ninja is... Full. Bursting at the seams. This is my favorite. It does have a crack. I might need a new one and Mother's Day is coming up. Oh, you know you love kitchen gadgets for <laughs> anniversaries and Mother's Day. Always. And you don't want to get it too fine, okay? That 
thing is jam packed, babe. I know. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, one more little chop. And that should be a good consistency. Again, to recap, I have our parsley, shallots, garlic, and red pepper. And I'm just gonna. Not your bell pepper, your spicy red pepper. My spicy red pepper. So I'm just gonna put all of this in here and then I'm going to go and roast my red bell pepper and that's gonna go in my chopper next. And then that will also go in the mix. Okay. You're going double barrel, babe. Yeah. I'm telling you, I love having a gas burner. I don't know how electric burners work. <laughs> I, I have had them before and I burn everything. Yeah. Like eggs seem impossible. All food seems impossible, I don't know. So we got it roasted. So it softens it up quite a bit. Throw that part. You still want to get rid of obviously your insides. And then you kind of want to just slough off. Slough? Mm-hmm. Slough off all that skin. You don't have to get it all off, but. If you leave that skin on, it kind of leaves like peels in your um, food. Okay, so our red pepper is all done. It smells divine. It's got a lot of juice in there. So we're just going to dump this in. We're going to let it set for about 10 minutes to kind of cool down, relax, marry together, and holy matrimony. And don't worry if you're not catching all the ingredients. There's going to be, Greg's recipe is going to be printed down below in the description parsley in and I wasn't supposed to but I think it'll be okay I'll take I'll taste it and we'll see but I think it'll be okay I also realized that I need to put in my half cup of red wine vinegar boy put me on video with Greg his <laughs> recipe and I'm just blowing it I did it behind closed doors it was perfect but I think it'll still be okay oh that vinegar is yummy all right, so now that's gonna chill for a little while to calm down. And yeah. now we're gonna cook our pan steak. Exactly, let's cook our steak while this all marries together. So let's go ahead and put everything else in. Excuse me. Everything else in. So next we're going to do a half cup of fresh lemon juice. And last time I did this, that came out to about two or three, lem like two full lemons. These, these lemons are really, really juicy, so I'm only going to do three pieces, not four. So just pay attention to how juicy your lemons are. One cup of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Sure, your bowl's gonna be big enough, babe? Yeah, I think we're gonna be just fine. Okay, two teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm using regular paprika. One half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Is that a little bit more than a teaspoon? No, that was a little bit of a half. And then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. All right, so we want to let this set out um, for a few minutes or an hour, like whatever you have time for. The longer it sets, honestly, the better it gets. And then when we were all done eating, I put it in the fridge and it will harden a little bit because of the olive oil, but it comes right back down as soon as you take it out. So what I want to say is I believe the parsley should go in after because I think when I blended it up, it took away some of the freshness and its ability to soak up the olive oil. So make sure that you don't mess that part up. The taste is not different. I mean, it's not as, um, I think it's not as fresh when the parsley goes in, but it's freaking delicious. So anyways, I did want to point that out. I messed up, my bad. I have my steak cut up. It's a perfect medium. Is it time, before you reveal the, the magic, we got to roll the top tier channel members. Thank you guys for everything you do and taking care of us and supporting us. We couldn't do this without you guys. All right, babe, now I'm gonna show the folks. Are you ready? I'm gonna show the folks. I'm pretty hungry, we haven't had Look any- Look at how much today. it made, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited, we pan over to here. 
Your little pan steak that you made? My little pan steak. So yeah. I'm going to take some of this. Goodness, now look at this. Look. It's like Christmas in my mouth. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to take and drizzle this over. Wow, babe. That smells and looks very, very good. All right, is your mouth watering? Yeah. Mine too. I feel like you can't even get enough of this stuff. I know. It's so good. I'll put a little fresh parsley on there. And there you go. Get our final picture. And be ready to eat. That looks absolutely rocking, babe. I agree. I still have an apron on because I did so much cooking today. <laughs> yeah, babe, mm. you're the cooking cop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get a big, a big bite. I, I got to okay. pick the right one. I'm going to take an end right here and then I'm going to add I'm gonna a little fold bit it extra. Over. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to oh. add a little extra. Oh yeah. Bite. I need a little extra too. Hold okay. on. Hold it's on. dripping. It's dripping. dripping oh goodness. my goodness. I can't even show the folks. All, All right, right, babe. Cheers. cheers. Mm. I want steak with my chimichurri. Mm-hmm. I don't even want chimichurri with my steak. Yeah. It's crazy. So good. It's crazy good. It... Wow. Wow, babe. This is very delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like I said at the beginning of the video, shout out Greg from the YouTube channel, Ballistic Barbecue. Shout out Jeremy Yoder from the YouTube channel, Mad Scientist Barbecue, for originally... Leaking Greg's recipe, well, with Greg's permission, leaking Greg's recipe out there. This mm -hmm. is so good. So good. You guys make this, put it on a ton of so different good. stuff. Eggs, steak. We had a chicken. Yeah. It was really good. It's just a staple to have on hand because it's just yeah. really good and really fresh and really nice. And, and stored it, in a little mason jar. And it's really just a nice change of pace. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, I'm so happy that I have so much for days just demolishing it. It's so good.